We must begin with the events in Charlottesville, Virginia, where one person was killed and 19 injured after a car, car ploughed into protesters following a rally of white nationalists. It was truly a weekend of horrifying images. We saw Nazi flags uh, and marchers carrying torches, uh, tiki torches, by the way, <laughs> because nothing says white nationalists quite like faux Polynesian kits. <laughs> And look, a protester being killed in the wake of neo-Nazis marching in the streets of an American city is the kind of tragedy that calls for true leadership from whoever is in the Oval Office. Unfortunately, the current occupant is this guy. And <laughs> even after a few hours to think about it, the best he could do was squeeze in this response before a bill signing. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. Wait, on many sides? This was a white nationalist rally. You have to call that out by name. There honestly aren't many instances in modern American politics where you can honestly think that guy really should have mentioned the Nazis, but this is emphatically one of them. It's like a reverse Godwin's law. If you fail to mention Nazism, you lose the argument. And, and having made a wild false equivalence between Nazis and people who oppose Nazis, Trump moved on to his favorite subject, himself. It's been going on for a long time in our country. Not Donald Trump, not Barack Obama. This has been going on for a long, long time. It seems Trump's first response to anything bad happening is always to immediately absolve himself of any personal responsibility. He's the kind of guy who starts eulogies at funerals saying, great guy, I didn't kill him, but he's a great guy and he's dead and I didn't do it. <laughs> and you know who might take issue with his statement that the white nationalists had nothing to do with Donald Trump? The white nationalists themselves. Because here is David Duke during yesterday's rally. We are determined to take our country back. We're going to fulfill the promises of Donald Trump. That's what we believed in. That's why we voted for Donald Trump, because he said he's going to take our country back, and that's what we got to do. I've got to say, David Duke and the Nazis really seem to like Donald Trump, which is weird, because Nazis are a lot like cats. If they like you, it's probably because you're feeding them. <laughs> also, 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 Cats are like Nazis, but that's a whole different subject. <laughs> and, and that kind of connection there is something that anyone in their right mind would want to immediately and repeatedly disavow. And it's not like Trump wasn't given the opportunity. Watch what happened at the end of his speech. Thank you, everybody. Mr. President, how do you respond to white nationalists who say they're participating in Trumpsville because they support you? They'd like me to sign the bill here instead of outside, so I think we'll do that. Okay? Thank you. You know, for a second there, as he came back to the podium, I almost thought, well, maybe he's about to say the right thing. <laughs> but of course not. He had one last shot before the buzzer on the racism clock hit zero, and he threw an air ball so far away it landed in the Third Reich. <laughs> and, and for the record, for the record, even after he signed the bill, he got another chance. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President do you want the support of these white nationalist groups who say they support you, Mr. President? Mr. President have you, have you denounced them strongly enough? A car plotting a group of people, would you call that terrorism, sir? So here, here is the problem... Here is the problem with that. A non-answer in a moment like this is an answer. If you had asked me, have you ever been aroused by the fairies in Zelda, the Ocarina of Time? <laughs> and I responded by slowly and silently walking away from you, you would know exactly what I was saying. It simply doesn't get easier than disavowing Nazis. It's as much of a presidential gimme as pardoning a fucking turkey. It is almost impossible to screw it up, but that's exactly what happened. So there is clearly no point waiting for leadership from our president at moments like this, because it is just not coming which means we will have to look to one another, because, incredibly, in a country where previous presidents have actually had to defeat Nazis, we now have one who cannot even be bothered to fucking condemn them.